Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, we are back with the update, well the early access for update V570 and in this video we're going to compare both uniform Endgame and Avengers 3099 on Iron Man in World Boss Ultimate. But before we jump into that, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when we post a new video or go live with the live stream. We stream every Friday and Saturday night, 7 p.m. at Pacific time, and we do have crystal giveaway on uh, all our streams. Also, guys, if you want to play Marvel Future Fight on PC, check the description down below and click on the link next to play Marvel Future Fight on PC. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take a look at the build we're actually going to be running with. And we're going to show the difference between both uh, uniform as, you know, the uh, what level they are actual. And then we're going to jump in World Boss Ultimate Colopsidian. And we're going to compare both uniform with the same, uh, uh, the same team setup pretty much. So uh, here is... Uh, Iron Man Avengers 13.30.99. He actually looks freaking dope. By the way, guys, for people wondering how you get this uh, uniform, you get this uniform uh, as reward from completing the first chapter in the new story mission. So it's totally 100% free to play uniform. Everybody gets it as long as everybody gets to finish the story mission chapter one pretty much so uh let's take a quick look at the build here we have max cooldown let's say maxing our defense 159 percent uh critical damage 53 percent critical rate 54 percent dodge rate 113 percent attack speed and 32 000, uh 79 energy attack which is actually not that optimal obviously uh, it's hard to actually give this character's good stats with the the, the 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 early access they give us pretty much uh having alliance level uh one when you start early access really really sucks because we're missing on very very important bonus and they don't really give us mats to uh, level up uniform so that kind of sucks for that too now if we look at the uh Euro, we have a, a bunch of uh, energy attack, dodge, critical damage, and uh, we have three Euro, uh, three Odin Blessing. Those Odin Blessing are actually the same energy attack and critical damage to get as much critical damage as humanly uh, possible. And the skills, uh, the buff we get with this guy uh, in active skill, do we, we get guards against it on the third skill, and we get 25% critical rate on the fifth skill which is kind of why i stopped the critical rate at 50 percent did not butter over that uh, definitely uh easel set uh basic archives easel set sets bonus stage six in effect so we get 8.5 percent all attack critical rate critical damage and we get 8.1 percent dodge and cooldown duration with activation rate 12 percent chance we're attacking plus 20 percent increase of all attack for 20 seconds with a cooldown time of 60 seconds custom gear we have a ctp of rage good critical rate on it terrible uh, dodge rate on it and we have the max stats uh for the proc on the uh, ctp of rage definitely now if we look at the uniform um the avengers 3099 uniform is stuck at normal we don't have xp chips we don't have rank up ticket uh uniform rank up ticket so we have to do the farming of the uniform xp manually which kind of suck you know that's not something you want to waste your time with an early access uh apk well app or whatever you want to call it so uh, we don't really get any uh, any other stats than the 15 percent all attack and 15 percent all defense a uh, uniform effect we get a shield so no healing you lost his healing and you get a super armor when um when you get it or whatever i think yeah when it applied to self super armor for one second uh with the cooldown time of uh, three seconds pretty much uh if we look at the end game uniform which is well the team suit is the same one uh this one will actually have attack speed energy attack hp all defense energy attack again on it so that should be a little bit better but there's no you know extra dodge so the proc with the ctp of rage will be pretty similar which is kind of what we want to compare but yes uh mythical we have uh at least you know we have 15 percent extra uh, all attack and we have a bunch of energy attack too additional so definitely this uniform should be a lot 
lot well not a lot stronger but a little bit stronger if we uh, rely in term of uh, power um, but we're gonna test them both and see which one actually performed the best in the world boss ultimate so we're gonna jump in here world boss ultimate um collapses in obviously uh we're gonna it's set to 42 so we're gonna see i perform at stage 42 here we're gonna have nick fury Iron Man and we're gonna drop Wasp so we don't take bleed so uh, this this fella uh, especially without his heel on the Avengers 3099 uniform does not get uh, destroyed and as strikers we're gonna bring CC strikers uh, no weapon X uh, Iron Man really perform well when he has weapon X with him so we should not see a lot of damage in my opinion during that run uh, anyway let's jump in and let's see um, with about two minutes of gameplay, how much damage we can actually do with that suit. Uh, then we're gonna do two minute gameplay with the end game suit slash team suit. Then after that, we're gonna set a team with strikers and we're gonna try to kill Cole and see uh, how fast we can actually do it with the uh, Avengers 3099 uniform. So let's get started here. Obviously we're gonna use the fifth skill right off the bat here. So we get the buff and the invincibility and then we're gonna switch. So here are the skills. Uh, the fourth skill has a full iframe, which is quite useful. Uh, the fifth skill has a invincibility. No, it doesn't have really anything. Uh, so it's pretty boring. <laughs> the third skill damage is uh, really, really weak. So nothing really crazy here. And the tier 3 skill is still pretty solid. So you can see most of his damage actually comes from his tier 3 skills. And you can actually cancel the 5th skill by the way, you don't have to keep doing it. Uh, pretty much the uniform is really similar to uh, the Infinity War uniform as a type of gameplay in my opinion. The 4th skill is a little bit different, but overall it, it's really similar, Which, but the damage is not as high as the Infinity War uniform, definitely. So we got 1 minute, we're down to a 6 bar, so it's really not optimal here. And we did not get a good defense down here uh, from uh, Scarlet Twitch with that tier 3 skill, so we did not get much damage. And it's really going to be the key here is to get a defense down time on that tier 3 skill. If you use that uniform, that's going to be uh, the way to get something good here. See, we got uh, decent damage here. So. You know, with the decent stats, with the DPF Rage, max stat, this uniform could probably do a cool 60 plus, which is actually not bad at all. You know, it's not fully optimal, but it is not bad at all. But it's still weaker than the uh, other uniform, in my opinion. But we're going to see it in a minute, too. Um, so we got one more rotation going here. Then we're going to be uh, pausing that and going with the end game uniform to compare so in three minutes we got down to uh, 11 bar and a half here we can see in the screen so in two minutes that's where we we that's what we achieve so we're going to compare now with the with the end game uniform and see where we're going to be standing after two minutes or if it, it gets killed before that we're going to stop before we kill it because i want to get a kill with the proper team with defense down with this uniform so let's switch the uniform here we're going to put the team suit doesn't matter if we use end game and team suit there basically well they are exactly the same uniform so we're gonna go with the exact same setup and we're gonna see the damage difference so pretty much this uniform has about i'll say 17 to 18 percent more damage in energy attack wise so we should be doing maybe a bar more uh, a bar faster if we go in theory um than with the previous uniform after two minutes but we're gonna see if that's gonna go like that or if that's gonna be much 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 faster i'm pretty sure it's gonna be much faster but you know we gotta see you can already see uh <laughs> the l bar going down so much faster so much faster here, I'm trying to trigger the proc on that, the fourth skill, but that did not want to happen this time. Uh, 
And I'm not a pro with this uniform either, so I'm pretty sure I'm not doing the perfect rotation. And we're doing a little bit faster. Not as, as much faster as I thought. I thought that was going to be a little bit faster, to be honest. So we are already over one bar ahead after the first minute. So you can definitely see that this uniform is much stronger. Plus you also you have time freeze in that uniform which is a huge upgrade too. They did not give me a proc on that tier 3 skill, so we lost a lot of damage there. Normally that should be uh, a little bit ahead, but because uh, we don't have, you know, max stats on anything, uh, I kind of scrubbed the, 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 the bar a little bit. So we're gonna end up with about uh, about two bars ahead of the previous uniform here after two minutes. So it's maybe the end game uniform might be uh, like five ten percent stronger than the uh, other uniform. The difference is not that big, but the difference is still there. It is still there. Now, if you only have one uniform, you don't have the synergy, they might actually be closer, which is actually nice. The difference is really minimal compared to the Captain America Endgame versus uh, the Captain America Avengers 3099. So uh, it's pretty nice. The uh, Avengers 39 and Captain America is really weak. Uh, the Iron Man 3099 is a very decent not as good as the end game but very very close and the black widow if you saw the video i post earlier today is much better than the end game uniform so it's still pretty decent uh, free to play uniform now we're going to switch back to uh the 3099 uniform here we're going to pop a uh, a good team with strikers and we're going to have some fun here well at least we're going to try to have some fun so here we go we got this we're gonna remove this one we're gonna remove this one because we want to give uh this guy a real team uh, i'm trying to think about what is going to be a real team here i don't want to screw it up like i did with my black widow giving her uh, a team up that didn't know didn't know work for her <laughs> crescent lead for black widow that was pretty uh that was pretty bad uh <laughs> okay here i'm guessing we could actually pop shuri Let's go speed. Yeah, there we go, Shuri. Then we're gonna bring uh, defense down strikers. And that should uh, get the job done here. So attack. And we got this one. This one and we should have Deadpool somewhere in there. There we go. So that should give us a very good idea of what kind of damage you can actually do with strikers with, uh, you know, minimal stats because the stats are very, very far from being uh, optimized, definitely. So uh, let's see what we're going to get here. You always have to keep in mind that the stats we get on early access are pretty pretty terrible you can already see the damage being much 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 better but the survivability uh, might be an issue here with the bleeding if we get it because that uh, cool it's not going to be cc 100% of the time so having a debuff removal might actually be important with this uniform since you don't have a heal on this uniform I feel like the fourth skill is really the best skill on this uniform so far. You can see I'm taking a lot of damage here. So it looks like without the debuff removal, that is going to be uh, too difficult. Even with two uh, CC striker, which kind of suck. It 
It kind of sucked, to be honest. The damage is pretty good, though. The damage is actually pretty damn good. Better than I expected, to be honest. There we go. We got a good one here. So if I actually get a good run, we could have done that pretty easy here. Uh, okay. This <laughs> skill got stuck here. <laughs> okay, so let's exit there. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to show you guys what you can do, but survival ability is going to be an issue against Cole uh, because of the bleeding. So you're going to need to bring Wasps with him if you actually play him with this uniform. If you go with the end game uniform, you don't need uh, that at all because you get the heal on the fourth skill. So the end game uniform, more damage, more survival ability. So if you already have the end game uniform, it's good. Uh, versus the Infinity War uniform, uh, it was about close to the same level to the end game uniform. Maybe a little bit weaker. So the uh, Avengers 3099 might actually be stronger than the Infinity War uniform on Iron Man. I'm not going to compare it because this video is already getting long enough. I think the Avengers 3099 will be worth uh, leveling and equipping over the Infinity War. But the end game was going to be a little bit better uh, offensive wise and defensive wise. So guys, if you have any questions, feedback, comment, uh, there's a comment section down below uh right while you go right and i'll get to back to you uh, as soon as i can guys uh thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel make sure to enable the bell uh next to the subscribe button to get notified when I post new content don't forget to drop a like on this video to show your support to the channel and on that guys i will see you next time